Who hides evidence? Criminals hide evidence, not honest people. So over the next 10 days, we get to see the machines that are crooked, the ballots that are fraudulent, and if we're wrong, we will be made fools of. But if we're right, a lot of them will go to jail. So let's have trial by combat. All of us here today do not want to see our election victory stolen by emboldened radical left Democrats, which is what they're doing, and stolen by the fake news media. That's what they've done and what they're doing. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. Our country has had enough. We will not take it anymore. And that's what this is all about. And to use a favorite term that all of you people really came up with, we will stop the steal. We have come to demand that Congress do the right thing and only count the electors who have been lawfully slated, lawfully slated. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and Patriotically, make your voices heard. Today, we will see whether Republicans stand strong for integrity of our elections, but whether or not they stand strong for our country. Our country. Our country has been under siege for a long time. We are gathered at a time when democracy is in crisis. Recent polling shows that 39% of Americans believe the election that just occurred, quote, was rigged. You may not agree with that assessment, but it is nonetheless a reality for nearly half the country. Madam Speaker, I have constituents outside this building right now. I promised my voters to be their voice. In this branch of government, which I now serve, it is my separate but equal obligation to weigh in on this election and object. Are we not a government of, by, and for the people? They know that this election is not right, and as their representative, I am sent here to represent them. I will not allow the people to be ignored. Madam Speaker, it is my duty under the U.S. Constitution to object to the counting of the electoral votes of the state of Arizona. The members who stand here today and accept the results of this concentrated, coordinated, partisan effort by Democrats, where every fraudulent vote cancels out the vote of an honest America has sided with the extremist left. The United States Congress needs to make an informed decision, and that starts with this objection.